Hello everyone, this is Serge from GoShoNoob.com. I'm coming to you from Gamescom 2015. I'll be talking about LEGO Dimensions today. Yes, you might wonder what I'm doing here talking about a LEGO game, I know. Not exactly part of the core gaming we usually cover, right? Well, uh, I've been playing a lot of LEGO games in the past several years with my son, but also LEGO Dimensions is not just any LEGO game, so I wanted to share my experience uh, playing the game at, at the show. I mean, someone in LEGO saw how uh, games like Skylanders and Infinity were doing great and uh, thought to themselves, hmm, we got toys that, that, that are loved by billions of people around the world and a uh, successful video game series. We also possess licenses to some of the world's most famous franchises. What will happen if we mix those together? Well, they did exactly that and that's why LEGO Dimensions release is imminent. For starters, for $99.95 you will get the starter pack box containing the game, the toy pad peripheral, and four LEGO Dimension figurines. There will be Batman, Gandalf, and Wildstyle from the LEGO movie. And the fourth uh, figurine is the Batmobile. That's going to be the vehicle that you're going to be using in the game. You will have to assemble the portal and the figurines themselves, just like you would any other LEGO toy. Portal is connected to your console and you will place your figurines on top of the portal when you want to summon that character inside the game. It is also used to solve in-game puzzles and has three interactive zones where you can place up to seven figurines. Uh, you will be able to purchase additional expansion packs containing characters and vehicles from various famous franchises and by doing that you will also be unlocking new playable worlds in the game. There will be three kinds, there will be level packs, team packs and fun packs to buy. And I think that their price will be around $10 initially. That covers the physical part of the game. That's the physical toy you, you will be interacting with. I had a lot of time with the game at, at the show, played it several times, and um, the game looks and plays initially like any other LEGO game. That is, um, until you encounter your first puzzle that requires you to interact with the toy pad and the LEGO figurines that you have. I mean, that is the moment when this whole thing starts to come together. The way it works is... Uh, when you encounter a puzzle in the game world that requires you to interact with the physical toys, you will get a prompt about the kind of the puzzle it is and where on the gamepad you need to place characters to activate it and ultimately solve the puzzle. The whole thing can be better seen in the footage of the gameplay above. But uh, the feeling is what got to me and, and the feeling is that you're playing a computer game and at the same time you're playing with your LEGO toys and they're interconnected. That moment when you have to put down your controller and uh, think about which character you want to place where on the toy pad is what makes this game so unique and different to, mm, from any LEGO gaming experience you had before. I played the game several times, experienced several game worlds and mechanics, and after you know the hour and a half that I spent with it, uh, with my hands-on experience, I still had to stop and think which character to use and how to interact with the toy pad. So it still felt fresh and exciting, although I've, you know, had experience with it. Here's some info that I think you'll find interesting about the game. As you play through the game, you will be collecting the golden bricks like you did in previous LEGO games. You can do challenges, races and stuff in the open worlds, which will reward you with gold bricks, right? But you can use those gold bricks to actually unlock new schematics with which, uh, which will show you how to take apart your existing Batmobile, for example, and then uh, put it together in another fashion so you get the Mat Batmobile level 2. Huh? I made some upgrades. So the game actually gives you, like, it shows you on the screen a little booklet like you would have one when you buy a, a Lego toy. And uh, you would go page by page and assemble the Batmobile back together and get the level 2 version of the, of the vehicle. And I think there's three levels to each vehicle that you can upgrade it. And all of those are unlocked by playing the game and uh, using up your gold bricks, which I thought was awesome. Uh, another really cool feature that everyone really loved at the show is that there's a Doctor Who character with which you unlock the Doctor Who game world. Uh, there's also the vehicle that goes with the Doctor Who theme is the TARDIS, right? But what was unique about that character is that when you enter uh, the TARDIS in the game as Doctor Who, 
you can actually uh, interact with it and uh, pick and choose uh, your doctor's appearance to be any of the 12 incarnations of the doctor uh, from the series. And what was cool about that too is that when you change to the third or fourth doctor, for example, and exit the TARDIS and go back in, uh, the TARDIS will change its insides and it will look like what it looked like in the thir third or fourth incarnation of the Doctor in the TV sh show. So, you know, it's just a little bit of flair, but I'm, I'm really glad that they didn't put something like that in the game. Level expansion packs unlock whole new areas of the game for you to explore. Game has a story mode and open world levels that are themed in accordance to the characters you already have. The physical characters you already have. We're talking about tens of hours of gameplay with the starter pack alone. You, you can go through the whole game with the starter pack. But some of the uh, worlds will not be open until you get some, uh, some of the expansion packs. So with the expansion pack you get more hours of gameplay and you can even uh, explore the old worlds with the new characters to unlock the secrets like you did in previous LEGO games. Another cool thing about this whole LEGO Dimensions thing is that you can just take apart those toys that you get, the characters that you get in the starter pack, replace them with your own LEGO toys that you have in your collection or just play around with it. The, the, it will not affect gameplay, it will not change the appearance of the character in the game, but you can just have fun with, with any other LEGO toy that you have. In conclusion, um, LEGO Dimensions is just a great new experience uh, for those of you that love LEGO games, right? Merger of playing with the LEGO toys and playing the LEGO game is done very well and makes things uh, exciting and fun and new. I can see that both parents and children will find something fun in playing with this toy and whether you like playing with the LEGO toys uh, and the kid likes playing video games or it's the other way around that there will be something for both of you to do and it will surely provide you with hours of some quality family time. If you guys have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below and please like us and, and subscribe for more gaming coverage from the noob. Batman. Hey, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Let's settle this mono a uh, bat mono.